Hello everyone, Master Zeon 101 here, and in this quick video I wanted to go over a unique feature that was recently added to Hard Ops, or at least recently was promoted to the main queue menu, and that is Uniquify. So to show it in action, we have our trusty old queue, and so using Box Cutter to help us out, we're just going to draw a box, and I'll press X to convert it to a slice, and we'll do it one more time, and we'll also convert this one to a slice, but we don't want to cut too much deeper. And so we're going to select all three pieces, press D, switch over to circle, and we're just going to cut in a circle, hold shift, and I'm just going to select this top face and control click mark in order to give it a reverse bevel. And so now this piece is reverse bevel and we can select the main shape and using the snap dots, we're just going to jump off of this and bring this piece out, press B to bevel that as well and click to apply. And so now we have this element setup that's comprised of a couple of slices but the main piece has an addition onto it as well and so let's say I wanted to actually be able to freely move this piece around you see that I'm currently not able to do that because of the limitations of parenting and so if I move around the main shape you can see that I'm still in control of the main shape but when it comes to moving the sub pieces that's just out of the question and so your first thought might be, hey, I'm going to go in and press Q, go into operations and choose late parent. And late parent will, of course, help you with your parenting and make sure it's your parents in order with your slice, but it's not going to give you the intended result. And that's because in order to be able to freely move this, we need to uniquely make the cutters unique to this shape so that way we can move it freely. So that's where unique to fire comes in. So if we go ahead and click this, you can see that now there's six additional cutters and we're able to just move this around. And to show this even further in action, we can press Q and go to our mod scroll and bring back our shape. And just by lowering the bevel, we can see that the bevel's now uniquely affecting just this shape alone. And we can do the same thing with this one. You see that, you know, we're not able to move it. Even if we were to late parent, we're still not able to move it. But by using Uniquify, we are able to basically give this a unique set of cutters that now when we mod scroll and go in and make adjustments to, it won't actually propagate to the rest of them. So this can come in handy for all sorts of workflows where basically you're needing to just move a shape around and get it off of the location very quickly. So I will just um, perform another kind of maneuver here working with some end gun. In fact, let's bring that piece up and actually what I want to do is bring this piece up and I also want to bring up this one at the same time so that way I can just mirror this across it and now we're back in business. So we see that we're not able to do anything here but if we were to go in and basically make this unique we're now able to move this around and we could do the same thing with this piece where it still is controlled via parenting, but if we were to go in and say bring up our cutter, we can begin making additional changes that are able to be done thanks to this actually being a unique piece. And then we can just continue on with um, performing cuts as we would normally do. But I just want to show a little bit about Uniquify, which is new to hard ops, but has actually been there for the last couple of releases, but has recently been added to the Q menu. I've been trying to figure out a place to put it in and operation seems like just the best place. So I hope that you get in here, begin making your cutters unique, scroll through them and make post adjustments on your unique bevels that are now isolated to different levels. And with that, we can wrap up this video and I'll see you guys next time.